everyone, what are we making today? We will be making pumpkin crust today. Ooh, sounds fun! Shall we get started? Yes, we shall. Let's go! Hi kids, so welcome back to another session of Halloween Crafts. So this session we'll be making our own pumpkin crafts. And for those with the bonus craft kit, we will actually be making a bonus craft which is the bat, okay? So you get the pumpkin craft and the boat bat as well, alright? So uh, if you miss out on any steps, don't worry, you can always replay the video on our YouTube channel or on our IGTV as well. We will always be up there as well as all the other crafts, okay? And don't forget to snap your pic snap a picture of your artwork and post it on our Facebook page after the session to stand a chance to win a $5 NTC voucher from us and if you share your craft work on your Facebook post or your IG you'll also be eligible and given priority to receive free craft kits for our next session, alright? And if you're interested for our next session, also remember to RSVP early and follow all our social medias on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Okay. Hi all, so welcome back to our 7th session on Arts and Craft. So this session we will be making our very pumpkin crafts, okay? So because it's the Halloween season, so what we will need for this pumpkin craft is a piece of A4 size orange paper, and then 4 origami paper, one for the stalk, the leaves, the face, and also 2 circle base, which we will be using a small one this time. You can use any size because the circle will be a very small one. And then we will need a ruler, scissors, black marker. If you don't have an origami paper for the face, you can just draw the face out. And then a drawing compass or a round base of 2 inches. And then if you don't have glue, you can use double sided tape as well. For those with the craft kits, I have already taped the strips for you. You'll find 16 pieces of orange strips. So when you tape, uh, you'll be using the tape to tape the strip to the base of the circle, okay? Okay, so first let's get started with our A4 size paper. So what you'll need is an A4 size paper and what we're going to do is we're actually going to fold it halfway. So fold it halfway like a book. And then you may want to actually cut it half. So after you fold it halfway into a book, we are going to actually cut it. We need 16 strips of this orange paper. So we are going to cut it into half. Alright. So for those with the, or the craft kits, just bear with us for this step, okay? So after we have folded it half, we are actually going to fold it this way. Alright. Once we have folded it this way, we will fold it halfway up again. Okay. This long side, we will fold it halfway up. And then we'll fold it halfway up once more. So that we get 16 strips of paper. Okay? So when we unfold it, we should actually get 8 strips on one. We should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is total 16 strips of paper. And what we are going to do is we are actually going to cut them out. Cut them out along the line so that we get 16 strips of paper. Okay? So parents can help in this step. You can actually put the two paper together and cut along the lines. So that the step will be faster process. Okay? Okay, so after you have cut out the 16 strips, so for those with the double side, the origami craft, I've already double sided tape for you. Um, it's actually on this side. So use this side 
with the double sided tape, okay? And then for those that without the double sided tape, you have cut out on your own. You can either use a glue or a double sided tape as well. So next up, what we'll need is actually we'll need two small round base of paper. Alright, so you can either use a drawing compass or you can freehand draw, but make sure that the circle is uh, about 2 inches, okay? So, what we are going to do is, if you have a round base of 2 inches, you can just place it on a separate origami paper and just draw it out, or trace it out. And then what I have is a drawing compass. So I'm actually going to measure 1 inch so that the 1 inch is from the middle. You can do either a 2 inch or 1 inch. Okay, so I've measured 1 inch. Okay. And then I'm going to actually, from my origami paper, I don't need so big, so I'm going to fold it into half. I just need two circles will do. I'm going to place it in the middle and I'm going to draw it out. So once I have drawn the circle, I'm going to actually cut it out. So we'll need two circles, one for the base and one for the top, okay? Alright. So we'll keep one aside, it's for the top. So we'll choose the base. So if you use the origami paper, you can put the white facing up facing you. And then the colored facing below. Okay. And then with your 16 strips of paper. So I already have double sided tape mine. What we are going to do is we are going to actually tape the ends towards on this paper. So that it will look like this. Okay, one. All right. So I'm going to tape one first. So if the glue is not strong, you, should, you can use double sided tape, okay? Okay. Okay, so next up, take another four strips of paper and we are actually going to place them like that. Okay, so you can glue or double sided tape them. And then we are going to actually paste them here, like right in the middle. Okay. And then see. Okay. And then same for this one.
then now we have four more strips of paper. And then we are going to actually place one in the middle. Take another four strips and then we will start pasting them again. So as you can see, there's these two opening here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more to go. Okay. okay try to make sure that they are centralized. And then the last four strips which are going to cover up here, here, and here. In any case, if anyone is loose, start to feel loose, you can either glue them or paste more double sided tape, okay? And then the last one. Okay, so now it looks like this, and then at the bottom, it looks like a spider, that kind. Alright? So what we are going to do now with this origami, your white facing is going to be bottom. We are actually going to stick one. See this double sided tape here? So I'm going to actually stick it like this. And then the one on top, the one this side, I'm going to stick it below. Like this. And then we we'll go on and so up, okay? So with, for this, you can use both either glue or double sided tape, alright? Try to stick it at the end of at the edge of it. Okay. And then now we stick the side.
So to make it easier, you can actually just turn it so that it's easier for you to stick. Because soon, as you keep on sticking, the holes are going to close up soon. And then now we are going to stick the rest in. So I'm going to stick. So with this two hole, you're just going to bring it in. It's going to be a bit tough. Alright, and then we're going to stick it right at the bottom. So if you're scared if it's loose, you can actually put more double-sided tape in, alright? So you just try to slip it in. Last one, and we'll be sticking our last one in. So, this is a bit harder now as you're sticking your last, second last one.
we go. And then now we will make all the stock. Okay, so now we will actually begin on making the stock. So take one piece of origami paper if you have. Alright, you can use either a small or big one. Okay, so with the origami paper, we are actually going to flip it to the other side, the white facing. Or you can use the color paper also if you don't have any origami. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are actually going to fold half upwards like this. Alright, so with this, we will fold it half upwards and then we will actually fold it half again across. So we'll pull it half into a small square. So what you should be getting is a small square. Okay, so once you get a small square, we will actually fold it half this way. Okay, so after you have folded it half, we will fold it half this way down to form a triangle. So now we get one triangle. Okay, after you have folded half, we are actually going to cut it so that it will form like a diamond shape. Okay. So as you can see, this is a joint point. We are going to turn it here, and then we are going to cut this side. Okay. So we are going to cut like half of this away. And now we are going to cut half of this so that it will get. Okay, so after that we will cut this part so that it will form like a diamond shape. Alright, so we are just going to cut around here. When you open up, it's like a autumn leaf that kind. Okay. Okay. So after we have cut and folded, we it will turn out like this. So as you can see, there's a lot of lines here. What we are going to do is we are actually going to fold. Just like this line, we are actually going to fold it into half. From Okay, so this di diamond, we are actually going to fold this diamond into half like this, alright, and then we are going to fold this one to this side as well, okay, and then we are just going to keep folding, alright, so that it forms like this, okay, and then same to the other side. We are actually going to push this down a bit so that we fold this two into half. Okay. And then fold this in half now. Alright, and then now we are going to fold this into half. So that when you fold half, it's actually easier to grab. Like this. like a mini umbrella that kind so I'll repeat once you have cut it already it'll turn out like this okay these are the lines that you have okay you will fold there's this line and this line here. We are going to fold actually this into half. 
So to do that, we are just going to push it in. Okay. And then we fold the others into half as well. Bring this up like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to fold this inwards like this, like a cone. And same to this side as well. Once we have done that, we will fold the rest in. Okay. We want it to be like a stick, so we are going to press it together really, really tight. Then we are just going to bring all this, the bottom, out to spread it like a flower that kind. Okay. So we are just going to spread it straight. So that we actually have a face. To actually put it on the pumpkin hat, okay? And then later we are going to double sided tape or glue them together. And if you want the sides to be shorter, you can actually just cut them. So I'm going to cut mine. should somehow look like a flower petal okay and then we are just going to glue them and double sided tape them whichever you want so that we can stick them on our pumpkin okay? okay and now it's for the leaves so after you have done the stem on the pumpkin you can actually use another origami paper or a uh, color paper to draw the leaves or any decorations you want so I'm going to draw my leaves so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two leaves so that I can stick beside it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold and I can use either a marker or a pencil to draw out the leaves, okay?
so I'm actually going to decorate my leaves. Want the stamp, you may want to have a stamp so that you are able to glue it to the stop of the pumpkin. Okay? Okay. You can either draw leaves or draw anything you want to decorate your pumpkin, okay? Okay. And then now I have to decorate my other leaves. Alright, so after we have done the stock, we can actually put the paste the stock onto the pumpkin like this. Alright. So I'm actually just going to cut again to make my pumpkin shorter. You can either use a glue or you can actually use a double sided tape. So I think I'm going to use a double sided tape so that it will be more secure. So I'm just going to stick it onto here and then I'll stick one more. So that I can flatten the pieces out. So if you want, you can glue them down, or you can actually just stick the other side of the tape. Okay. I'm going to stick one more here and then another piece, small piece there. So that I can flatten it. Alright, so after I have double sided tape, I'll actually take them off and then tape them to the pumpkin, okay? So I have actually taped them one, two, three, four, and then I'm just going to press it down. 
cook and then stick them on top here. want it to stick, just put your fingers in and then press it down. Okay. Alright, and there we have it. Okay. And then, we can actually add in the leaves that we have drawn okay so you can actually add in the leaves here so if you want you can actually take them down or glue them or you can actually add it between between the the stalk and the pumpkin So that it will look like this or you can actually just tape it here so I'm just going to glue mine down So you can double sided tape them or tape them or glue them down, okay? And then last but not least is the face. So if you want, you can actually use uh, origami paper to draw the face out. Or you can actually just use a black marker and draw the face. Okay? So now we are going to draw the face. So to draw the face for the pumpkin, you can actually draw on an origami paper or you can just draw straight on the pumpkin itself so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw out the face After you draw out the face, then you can cut them out. Now is the mouth. So if you want, you can do without the face and just decorate the pumpkin. Okay. 
any how you want. Or you can just draw the face straight onto the pumpkin as well. So if you want, you can actually draw, try to draw a bigger surface so that you will be able to stick on the pumpkin as well, okay? So with your pumpkin, you can actually glue them together. Okay, so you can actually start gluing the eyes already. So you can use a double-sided tape or glue to glue them to the pumpkin. And then lastly is the mouth. So the mouth is actually kind of small, but if your mouth is bigger, it, the surface is bigger, it's easier to stick. If not, you may need to use like a double-sided tape to stick it, okay? Or you can actually just draw against it. Get it to stick. Good. Okay. And there we have it. Our very own pumpkin decorations. Okay, and then if you want to actually light it up in the, at the night, you can actually, if you have the string lights, you can actually put through the string lights through this holes and as a decoration, and you can light it up at night as well. Okay. All right, and there you have it. Your very own pumpkin decoration. Hi everyone, so we actually have a bonus craft for this session. Alright, so for those who with the bonus craft kit, you can actually uh, pick out the origami piece of paper that we have, that we provided you with, and you can actually make the bag. And for those without the bonus craft kit, you can actually just take a A4 size 
of paper and then cut it into a square piece of 15 by 15 cm to make this craft, okay? So what we'll need is one origami piece of paper and one black marker to draw out the bad face later. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so with the origami piece of paper, for those with the craft kit, you will actually have one colour facing and the other side is white colour. And for those if you are using a uh, coloured paper like me, you can actually just use any side. But for those with origami, the, use the white facing, don't use the coloured facing, okay? Alright, so what we are going to do is when we change it to the white facing, we are going to fold it up. So this, for those with the origami piece of paper, this is the white facing and this is the colored facing okay so we are going to fold it halfway like this all right once we fold it halfway okay i'll do it again the colored facing and then white facing color paper is okay just use any side and then we'll fold it halfway upwards Okay, once we fold it halfway, we will open it and see this indent line here. We are going to turn it this way so that it's facing us. And then we are going to fold it upwards so that it gets four squares. Okay, so when you open it, you get one, two, Three, four. Okay. Okay. So now with this four squares, we are going to take the bottom, and we are going to fold it half to this indent here. Okay. Fold it half like this, so that this line here will be actually folding up to this line. Okay. So we fold it half upwards. And then we do the same to the top. We fold it half to the middle line. So I'll repeat. We fold it half to the middle line from the bottom. And then the top, we fold it downwards half to the middle line as well. Okay. Okay, so after you have folded the top and bottom to the middle line like this, alright, you will open it up. Now we are going to fold this top downwards to this first and then line halfway down. So we should get two small rectangle and then one, two, three big, big rectangles. Okay. And then what we are going to do now is we are actually going to flip the other side. All right. So for those with origami, the white facing is this side, and then the colored facing is this side. Okay. So now, this is the white facing, this is the colour facing for those with origami paper. So after we have turned it opposite, we are actually going to fold it halfway, like a triangle. Okay, we are going to fold it half like into a triangle. this all right and then we're gonna do the same to the other side fold it half this up way okay fold it into a triangle Alright, 
so that now when we open up, we get one, two, three, four triangles. Okay. Okay, so after we have folded tri into triangles half this way and then this way, we are going to open it up. See these two middle lines here? We are actually going to fold it in. Okay, with these two middle lines pushing in and then we fold it like that. So that now it looks like this triangle with the sides like this okay so I'll repeat from a square with these two middle lines we push it in and then we fold it like that okay and then if you can see there's actually this first and then line here Alright, with this first and then line, we are actually going to fold it upwards. We are going to fold it upwards like that, with the sides. Instead of pushing in like this, we are actually going to bring this line down. So when you fold, this will naturally come into like a triangle square. We don't want that. We want this line here to be parallel to this line. So we are going to actually bring it down. So that it forms this shape. Okay. Alright. And we are going to do the same to the other side. When you push it down, it will form like a diamond. We don't want that, we want it to be straight. So we are going to push it down. Push the top down. So that it forms this shape. Okay? So I'll repeat. We will fold this first and then line up like this and then with the sides we are going to push instead of like this we are going to actually push it down to form this shape and we are going to push it down as well to form this shape it's a parallelogram shape okay Okay, so from this, what we are going to do is, see this square, there's actually this small triangle here, we are going to actually fold it up, like this, okay, and we are going to do the same to the other side, from this shape, fold it, fold the bottom half up into a triangle. So that now it looks like an arrow. Okay, so I'll repeat. From the side, this parallelogram shape, we are going to fold the bottom half up to a triangle. And the same to the other side. So that now it looks like a tri arrow. Okay? And then we are going to flip to the other side. As you can see, there's actually a, a second indent line here. See this folded line? What we are going to do is, we are going to fold this upwards. Same like just now. When we fold it up, the sides will naturally come in like this. We don't want that. We are going to actually push it down. So that it forms a parallelogram shape. Okay, so same for the other side, when we fold it up, the sides will naturally become a diamond shape. 
we are going to actually pull it down so push in the side so that it will help you to go down easier and there we have it okay I'll do it again from here once you have folded these two arrow you flip it behind okay with the triangle facing you like this there is a second folded line here. We are going to fold it upwards. And then when we fold it upwards, the sides will naturally come in to form like a triangle diamond shape. We want it to be a parallelogram, so we just push the sides down so that it becomes like a parallelogram. And same for the other side. There we have it, like this. Okay, so once you have folded these two sides down, we are going to take this bottom half, as you can see there's a flap here. We are actually going to fold it upwards, like this. Okay. So, I'll do it again when you've after you folded the sides. There is this flap here. We are going to fold it upwards. Right, like that and then next we are actually going to fold this flat to this side all right like this fold this flat to this side and we are going to take this first flat here and fold it halfway. See this middle line here? This middle folded line? We're going to fold this to the middle folded line here. Okay, I'll repeat. After you have folded this triangle up, we fold this flap to the right side and then we're going to fold the, this flap again back down to this middle folded line. Okay, okay so after you have folded this down, what we are going to do is we are going to actually fold this upwards to form a cone shape. So. I'll show you one time. See this flap here? Okay. We're actually going to fold this upwards so that it forms like this. Okay. With it being a straight line, we're going to fold this upwards like that. Alright. Fold it at this corner here, like this. And then next, we are actually going to flip it to the other side. Okay. So the other side will actually look like this. All right. When we flip it to the other side, we are going to do the same. We are going to fold it halfway to the middle line. Alright, middle line maybe. We are going to fold this upwards so that it looks like a cone shape. Okay, and there we have it. Fold this upwards. And then when we flip it open, it will actually look like this. Okay. So once we have these two sides folded down, okay, we are going to flip it this way. So 
after we have flipped over to this side, what we are going to do is we are going to actually bring this flat downwards halfway from this corner halfway down. Okay? So we are going to bring this whole thing here, bring it down halfway like this. So that like, you actually kind of form like a small rectangle here. Okay? So I'll repeat. After we have flipped over to this side, we are going to take this whole thing and then we are going to fold it halfway so that it forms like a triangle or rectangle. Okay, fold a triangle, small triangle down like this and then what we are going to do is we are going to bring this flat upwards by pushing in this down okay so I'll repeat so after you have folded this whole piece down we want this to actually come up so we are going to push it up by pushing this down like that put your finger in and then push it down so that it forms like this like small little square and then it forms a triangle like that okay Okay, and then same for the other side, we're going to fold this whole flat here, down like a triangle, like this, alright, and then we want this flat to go up, while pushing this down. So that when you push, instead of like this, we are actually making this straight to this line. Okay. So I'll repeat. With this flat, we push it down like this, pull it halfway to form like a small triangle. And then we push up the flap while pushing this middle flap downwards. Like this. Okay. Okay, so after you have folded these two down, we are actually going to fold these two triangles down like that. Alright. And then there's this small one. We fold it downwards halfway. Like this. So I'll repeat. Fold these two small triangles down. Okay. And then this small triangle here, we fold it down halfway. Alright. And then after that, we are going to fold this upwards to the top here. To this flat. Fold it halfway up just to the top, the start of the flap, okay? Like this. Okay, so after you have folded, if you want to keep it down, you can actually double sided tape or glue if you have. So maybe I'll glue mine down. Just this side. Okay. Because after that, when you flip it, it's actually the back. Can you see it? 
So what you can do now is you can take your colored marker or black marker and then you can draw the bad face. So I'm going to draw mine. my bed. Okay. So you can design however decorations you want. You can even color the wings or draw the wing draw the wings pattern. Okay and then if for those sides that are coming out you can actually glue or double sided tape them okay. Alright so there you have it your bonus craft of a bed. And you can actually use this to decorate your pumpkin as well that you have just made okay. Alright so that's it for today. Alright, thank you very much. Happy Halloween! Okay, so we have come to the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed this session. You had your very own pumpkin craft and your small little bed as well. Okay, so you can actually just design them like that. Or you can put it anywhere in your room, okay? Alright, happy Halloween guys! Thank you! Hi kids, so we have finally come to the end of this session. I hope you guys had fun making your pumpkin craft and your bed. Okay, so if you miss out on any step, you can always rewatch the video on our YouTube channel or on our IGTV as well. We have many other crafts there as well, okay? And don't forget to snap a picture of your artwork and post it on our Facebook page by after this session. And also if you share your post on IG or Facebook, you also be given priority to receive uh, free craft kits from us for the next session, alright? And don't forget to Follow all our social medias on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and subscribe to our YouTube channel now to be eligible for the next craft kit for the next session, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this session. Bye! Happy Halloween!